What is going on, everybody? It's Mr. Uzi here, and AT&T has changed the way they're managing their cell phone plans. Now, with the past week, AT&T has said we are no longer offering two-year contracts for upgrades. The only way you can upgrade your phone is through AT&T Next or buying the phone outright. So you either pay the $20 or $30 a month, add it onto your monthly bill, or you go outright and buy it for six or seven hundred dollars so up until a few days ago there was no benefit to having both an AT&T service and a direct TV service but now one benefit is that you can combine both of your services and get a discount and if you have both you are eligible for AT&T's new unlimited plans unlimited plans now when I say unlimited I mean unlimited Kind of. Uh, you have unlimited talk, unlimited minutes, and you have unlimited text messages, which really aren't new. But the caveat here is that you have unlimited data up until 22 gigabytes where they will start to throttle uh, your data speeds. Now, the pricing for this starts out at $100 and $40 for every phone added on after. And when you get to your fourth phone, it's considered free, but you will still have to pay two months of the uh, $220 monthly charge until that free phone uh, price kicks in. So what does this mean for the average consumer? Well, if you subscribe to a satellite TV service, DirecTV, and you happen to subscribe to a mobile phone service, AT&T, you can get a discount, save a little bit of money on your monthly bill. If you are a heavy data user, now I'm talking five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 gigabytes of data a month, then you may want to look at this unlimited plan. It is a very compelling deal with a family of four being able to have all unlimited data, talk, text, everything for under $200 uh, minus the fact if you're paying AT&T Next or paying for AT&T Next uh, for having a leased phone from AT&T. Now, since you can no longer upgrade via two-year contracts, even people who are currently still in two-year contracts, um, I can kind of understand why AT&T might have wanted to announce this now. Uh, they know that consumers are going to have increased bill costs due to AT&T Next pricing and costs being added to the monthly bill. So to lessen that, they create a compelling plan that's not extremely expensive, expensive than most of their plans, expensive than a lot of their mobile share plans, but still reasonable and offering a lot more, hence the unlimited part. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think that you would switch from your current plan, whether it's an old grandfathered in plan or even a mobile share plan to this new unlimited plan? Is it even worth buying a DirecTV service or subscribing to a DirecTV service to get that discount and the unlimited service? Um, if you're with another company, say Sprint, Verizon or T-Mobile, do you feel compelled to switch to AT&T because of their unlimited plan? Leave those all down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.